we have one, two, three Excel tables filled with our data. We've used the Excel.CurrentWorkbook function to pull all of those tables together into Power Query. But when we make our transformations to take those tables and append them into one single table, if we load it, close and load two to an existing worksheet, it's looking good. It got all 13 rows. But what happens when we click Refresh? We get double the records. We went from 12 to 24. When I click Refresh again, now I have triple the records. What is going on? Well, this is called the recursion problem. And there's a simple fix. Remember, Excel.CurrentWorkbook simply imports every single table in the Excel workbook. Well, wait a second. When we created this query, it exported it into the sheet, and there's our table name. So anytime you use Excel.CurrentWorkbook and load it to the Excel worksheet, you have to add one extra step to stop recursion. So we're going to double click to edit. We highlight the query name, Control-C, in step one in the name column, which is the name of those Excel tables. We say text filters does not equal. I definitely want to insert. Control V. We always want to filter out the query name. Click OK. Now when I click Close and Load, I can click Refresh as many times as I want. And I'm not going to get the double and triple records. Now if you want to learn all about Excel.CurrentWorkbook, check out this video. And if you want to learn more about Power Query, here's a great introduction video.